Hello everybody, Mr. Moo here in the cockpit here in Elite Dangerous with a viewer requested video, possibly video series. We'll see. With the holidays coming up and Elite Dangerous probably going into a few people's digital stockings, I'm going to have a few more new players in the area. So, somebody asked if I could do a rundown on what missions are what and what you need to do to kind of fulfill each mission type. Now this is not for the veteran players. This is for people who are starting off brand new, green as grass. So if you know all this already, good on you. We're gonna we're gonna try to get get things you know a little bit more sorted out for the new pilots out there. First things first, some mission types will require you to, as I say, honk the horn. If you have an advanced discovery scanner, that's the horn. That costs 1.5 million credits. Not everybody's going to have one off the bat, but this is what you do. You just set it up, hold down the trigger. That's honking the horn. There's also going to be a section, a lot of missions, that I will say go and scan the nav beacon. So when you drop down into a star system, you will usually see a nav beacon in the area. So what you want to do is go on approach to that and do your stand standard super cruise approach and drop down into real space, which should be covered in the flight tutorials. We'll get dropped down here. Because there is the nav beacon as a sight right now in super cruise on the map. It says nav beacon. But there is also a physical nav beacon, which you scan after you drop down. So when I say scan the beacon or honk the horn, this is what I mean, and this will give you full system information. So on the map, there's a little gray icon right there. Target it. And you see on the lower left, it is spinning away as it's scanning. Scan complete, system data downloaded. That means you now have all data on the star system, all the planets, all the moons, all the stations, and all the ground installations. So, whenever I say honk the horn or scan the beacon, this is what I mean. So now here we are in the mission board at Glidden Enterprise in the Narvert system. The Entry Alliance is offering seven, it's actually offering nine missions, but my ship or my qualifications or whatever, I can only take seven of these. So that's what that means. Seven out of nine missions here I can take. The majority of these seem to be boom data delivery. Now it's a one way delivery that's indicated by this arrow. And it's also only data. If it were moving cargo in one direction only, it would have a picture of a, of a cargo canister like down here. Boom time delivery. But this, this is just data. So you don't need a cargo bay for it. You just take a couple of data crystals, stick them in the pocket of your flight suit. Away you go. You see what the payout is? 26,580 credits. Rep plus plus and inf plus. Well, what does that mean? That means you get a reputation boost measured here with the faction and an influence boost up here. Reputation is how well you are seen in the eyes of that particular faction. Influence is how much pull that faction has in the system overall, whether they're a majority ruling party or not. Going into the details here. Delivered data to Kaleri port in HIP 5881. Hostile ships may be sent against you. And here it says as well, reputation, medium increase, influence, small increase. Destination, Kaleri port. Estimated arrival point, 2292 light seconds. So you drop down to the star and it's roughly 2300 light seconds from where you drop down. 
System HIP 5881 4.44 light years. You deliver to HIP 5881 LTD. So you get influence with this faction, the Errantry Alliance, and you also get reputation with HIP 5881. You're the courier, you get a good reputation among both both ends of the deal. The the seller, or yeah, the client and who you're delivering to for the client. You get reputation with both and a timer on the mission. You've got just under 24 hours to complete this job. This one's a little different. This one is source and return six units of basic medicine. So right there, it tells you you're going to need six free tons of cargo space in your ship. And you're also going to get paid four commodities, four tons of some commodity. Neofabric insulation. So, this doesn't tell you where to buy it. You're going to have to find out where to go and get something. And I've done that on some of the um, third-party elite videos, like eddb.io. That will be able to show you where you could buy basic medicines from. So you go somewhere, you fly there, you buy six units of basic medicines, you fly back and you deliver this as the mission and you get the reputation and the rewards for it. So you're gonna want six tons, you drop off the six tons, then they give you four tons of insulation. You can sell that off here at the same station and make a little bit extra profit. Assassination mission. All right, so this one, crosshairs around scales. This is a court ordered assassination. This is a kill job. 1.1 million credits, medium reputation inf uh, increase, medium influence increase. Now this one, this one's a little different. Again, this one's full on combat, so they've got a recommended combat rank here as well. They think you should probably be an expert if you want to take this on without, you know, death or death-like symptoms. Hostile ships may be sent against you, just so you know. So, two ways to do this. We expect the target to be in the Wang system between 2110 and 2240 hours. But, there's also just under 24 hours left on this mission. So, you can do, do this two ways. You can go into the system between these hours game time. And, what are those hours game time? Well, you can see that in your upper right. Right now, it is 2059 hours. So... He's already in system, and there could be a window where he's flying around supercruise for another hour, hour and a half or so. So let's check the mission board again, pull up that same mission. Wait for the mission computer to catch up. It appears that mission has expired, but that's all right. Same principles apply to Loktar here. Now, he's in the harangue system between 2135 and 2305. So we've got roughly 35 minutes before he shows up in system in Super Cruise. So FSD interdictor. If you see him flying around the system between these hours, you can grab him with an interdictor module drag him down into real space, make sure you've got wanted confirmation on him, blow him away. You get the bounty for him, and you get the mission reward. That's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it, as it says here, scan the nav beacon in the target system to help locate the target. You can also use discovery scanners for the same purpose. So in this case, you would go into the harangue system, drop down at the beacon, scan the beacon, or honk the horn, and it will show a mission target point. We'll just use Narvid as an example here. Honk the horn, scan the beacon, and you could get a target point around Narvert 3 or Narvert 6A, whatever. Except obviously in the harangue system instead. You fly there, and then you kind of coast around in super cruise a few light seconds away from the target body because obviously you don't want to drop down and hit the planet or the moon or whatever. 
So stay in high orbit, stay in slightly higher than high orbit. Kind of cruise around in super cruise at a low to medium speed, staying fairly close. And eventually your computer will throw up a mission critical signal source and it will give you an audible cue. It will say mission critical source detected, something similar to that. I forget the exact wording, but it will also show up as a mission critical source here on your navigation panel. And it'll be fairly close because you're right here. So it's going to be within a few, you know, within at least a light second or a light second at most, I should say, probably more likely to be in the megameter range. Drop down in there. You're usually going to see three ships like a type nine and a couple of escorts. Type nine is calling for help. You will also see the pirate attacking him. You go in, you make sure you got the wanted confirmation. You blow them away, you get the bounty, you come back, you get the reward. Same deal. Just two different ways of going about it. Boom, data delivery, source and return. Liberate six com or eight commercial samples. Okay, this one is where you basically attack a pirate ship. You attack a pirate ship and you basically go in and blow his cargo hatch off or use a hatchbreaker limpet, throw eight commercial samples out of his cargo bay, scoop them up and fly back. I have to admit, I've never done these kinds of missions. My ship is not really set up for, well, it's not really set up for what you called subtle. It's got two basic settings on it, safe explode. I, I don't do, I don't do this subtle stuff very, very well, but it does give you some advice. Hatchbreaker drones are useful. An FST interdictor will enable you to pull targets out of super cruise, or you could scan the nav beacon. I've never pulled one of these. It didn't seem like a too terribly good. Well, there's not much profit in it, to be honest. In fact, there's no profit at all. This little cross means it's a charity mission. Boom time delivery, 40 units of Bertrandite. Now this is a cargo canister with one arrow. That means you are just picking up 40 tons of cargo and you're flying it to Lopez de Villalobos station in Wangaratari. You're dropping it off and you're getting paid 175, almost 176 grand. Pretty easy, simple, simple transport job. All you need is the cargo space to do it. Hostile ships may be sent against you. Mission failure could lead to a fine. If you can't pull this off, if you lose the cargo, or if you don't complete it on time, you get fined the value of the cargo. Hostile ships may be sent against you because some other corporation or whatever got wind of this deal and may want to make their competitor look bad or send a message to other pilots who may be flying missions for their competitors. Be on your toes, be ready to fly against pirates, Fine on failure, 104,500 credits. Keep that in mind. Courier job, donate 24 units of battle weapons. See the cross? Charity mission. You don't get paid. All you get is reputation. Illegal black box salvage. Kind of the same as the previous charity, except you're getting paid for it and you're pirating people who, well, they're law-abiding citizens. Donate 18 units of clothing. Salvage three nerve agents. This one is a little... This icon means that you're going to have to pick it up off of a planetary surface. So you're going to need an SRV, a buggy. So that means you're going to need the Horizons expansion. Otherwise, it's basically go around, search around on the planetary surface, look for high, high, what do I want to say? High range sensor returns on your SRV's scanner. And I will show what that means a little bit later on here. Scoop up three nerve agents. 
and you can only scoop them up two at a time and then you got to transfer them to your ship because your SRV only carries two canisters. So you're going to need to do at least one back and forth to your ship on the ground. A lot of boom data delivery. Federal Navy courier job. Again, I don't have the proper reputation for it. 14 units of bauxite to the Hunpai system. Massacre the gang of HIP 5881 pirates. This one I cover in my So You Want to Be a Bounty Hunter video. Basically, you'd go to HIP 5881, look for some kind of resource extraction site, or if they don't have one, you're going to need an FSD interdictor. Go in, find a target. It should say wanted, and it should say mission target on the lower left once you get a scan. Yank them down out of Super Cruise or blow them up in the rings. But you take out eight of these, you get the bounties from all eight, plus you get the 451 grand as the mission reward. Rare Artwork Salvage Operation. This one is similar to the assassination missions. You have to find missing rare artwork in the Thedidic system. You take the mission, you go into Thedidic, you either honk the horn or you scan the beacon, and it will give you a target area to go looking around. Look around the target area, stay in super cruise, stay at a fairly low to medium speed. Just kind of keep looping through the area until the mission critical signal source appears, drop down and scoop up the artwork. There will probably be pirates that come in and drop down immediately after you drop down, but before you get the artwork scooped up. You can either scoop under fire, wait for the pirates to scan you and maybe go, or just engage the pirates first while you have the element of surprise and you don't have your uh, scoop deployed, and take out the pirates and then scoop up the artwork. There's a few ways of playing the mission. Again, if anybody wants me to give a more in-depth approach to some of these missions, let me know down in the comments, and I will make a video on that specific kind of mission. This is a pretty broad subject, and if we were doing every mission as an example here, this would be an eight-hour long video. And this icon. What well, looks like a half circle with an explosion in the middle. Discrete power failure required. This one's interesting. In my, in my video on taking out skimmers, you see me approach a base, deploy my missiles, and then just start blowing up skimmers left and right. This one is very similar, except instead of targeting skimmers, you do a quick look around the base from the sky and there should be something that looks like a power generator. It'll be basically a horizontal cylinder laying on the ground. And it's usually bright white uh, with blue highlights around it, kind of energy going around crackling inside. Target that thing, blow it up. That's all you need to do. In its most basic form, you drop down out of orbit, you approach the surface, you deploy your guns, you strafe the hell out of the ground base, and then you retract the guns, go back to Super Cruise, jump back to the system and get paid. It will pop up a message, probably a lot of messages about assault, bounty, blah, blah, blah. But it should also say mission update. And if you hit the target and knocked it out, it will say. And then it just says fly back and get paid. Now, skull with a cargo canister and an arrow. Covert transportation opportunity. This one, <laughs> this is smuggling. We need a smuggler to deliver some goods. Provide some more details when you reach the Thedidic system. These actions are considered illegal in most systems. They're going to give you a load of, tar of cargo. 36 tons of narcotics in this case. Load them into your ship. Fly to where you need to go. 
Now with this, we'll provide more details when you reach the Thedidic system. So, you get loaded up here, you exit the station, you try to avoid any kind of scan, you just get in, get out of the station as fast as you can, jump to Super Cruise, and then jump to Thedidic. Once you get there, they will tell you exactly where you need to go. It may be in the Thedidic system, it may be in another star system. They may send you on a multi-hop trip here. Regardless, you're going to want to take this cargo to where they want you to take the cargo, and then you're going to have to get in and get docked without being scanned. If you're quick on docking, if, you're, if you've got a fairly hot hand on the stick, you should be okay. I'd love to be able to take this mission, but it doesn't look like I've got the cargo space for it or the reputation. Unfortunate. I really do like taking those missions for fun. So, one more mission type that is not shown here in the Narvert system, because it is a mining system, is a icon of a mission here, and it will show a busted up rock, or an asteroid with a couple of chunks blown off of it. And it will say source and return, say 14 units of osmium. What you want to do there is equip your ship for mining. And you can see some of the details on that in so you, my So You Want to Be a Miner video. Equip your ship for mining, go into metallic or metal rich rings of some star system. It doesn't even have to be a resource site. Just the rings that are either metallic or metal rich. Deploy your probes. Find some osmium. Mine it. Refine it. Get it into your cargo bay. And then fly back and drop it off. And that is, they will pay you usually very inflated prices. Much higher than what you can get for market value. So just another mission type to keep in mind. And again, I can't say it enough. If there's a mission that everybody wants me to go into a lot more detail on, maybe kind of give a walkthrough on, let me know down in the comments below. I'm just trying to give a real quick and dirty overview of the mission types for new players, for new pilots, anybody who's really starting off in the game. If you want to go into more detail, let me know. Otherwise, we're just gonna kind of give a quick and dirty overview and go from there. Next up, Passenger missions. That's not what I meant, Alex, but thank you for listening in.